Welcome everybody to today's match. We have London Conspiracy versus Moscow 5. This is the quarter final between, well, them. It's actually a best of one. And after this, of course, we have a double elimination bracket. So the loser will just go there. I believe they're facing up. Um, actually, I believe the winner has. Yes. A little bit here. Oh no, actually the winner will be decided with a uh, next match at 19CEST. Uh, see my Insanity and BBC. The winner of that one will be, well, the team they're going to be matched up versus. And, well, let's just go into the match for now. We have, uh, for London Conspiracy, they have bent out the, the uh, Dying and Lashbrack. Some heroes have seen a lot uh, with, I believe, today's or yesterday's patch. Dying got uh, nerves. Uh, the totem health went down a little bit more, and that was it. I'm not 100% sure because of the head all of the time I was able to read it, but uh, I think that those are like the, the biggest changes for me. Well, well, it's a hero that pretty much always gets uh, picked up. And uh, for Moscow 5, they bent out uh, the gyrocopter and the wisp. The wisp got a uh, smaller earth. Seconds remaining. Uh, I believe the movement, yeah, the movement speed went down and now scales from like 12 to 17% or something. Time. That. And the gyro, his uh, rocket barrage damage on level 1 and level 2 and 3 is a little bit nerfed and at level 4 is the same as it was before. It still has no cast point and well, that's it about it. And God of Life, I've seen this one a lot in the Summer 3 last weekend. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, what, uh, what Moscow 5 is able to do with this. They're still looking a little bit for the partner for Coddle. Yeah, like a classic combo would be a uh, OPL, like really old school uh, combo. And uh, we also see sometimes the Strong Medusa, spirit. just because you're able to keep the, the mana shield up at all times. But Moscow 5 opts for the Storm Spirit, this just makes him fairly versatile. You can just keep on ganking, you get this bottle chakra magic all the time, and you can just keep on going, and that's really strong. If you can just, you know, get it right and... Well, the cooldown reduction on the new uh, bottle magic, that's not big for a storm. The, yeah, the cooldowns are already pretty small. You are maybe able to get of like almost a double Five pool because of it. Remaining. It would be funny to see if they're able to actually uh, get that one done. Reserve so yeah, time. I'm looking forward. It should be a really great match. So uh, yeah. And, okay, they respond back with the Shadow Demon. Good saving hero, you're able to dodge the, uh, the Cult of Bless a little bit with it, as well as... Uh... Yeah. Yeah, and uh, Storm, yeah, once he grabs you, you should be able to also to save that person as well a little bit. Well, yeah, it's gonna be special. I I'm looking forward to seeing how they're doing with it, and they ban out the Broadmother. I can see why Shadow Demon isn't that... Uh... A really strong hero to contest a the green team's well <laughs> to contest a brute mother. Like he just runs them over, and even although you can stack the poisons onto them, it doesn't really matter that much. And they also ban out the uh, the spirit breaker. This is an annoying hero. Global presence, not something that you usually want to have versus yourself. And that's what they saw as well. So. And yes, uh, Moscow Five indeed have two uh, stand-ins. Uh, exist wasn't able to make a uh, match on time today. I don't know due to what, but it doesn't matter. They got two good sandies of LMGD as well as Afterlife. So we're gonna see this. Uh, London Conspiracy also won their last matchup versus Moscow 5. So at least that's what I believe. Yeah, I believe that. And of course, Moscow uh, Moscow 5 hasn't been able to get through to the uh, the, uh, the TI Open qualifiers. So I've maybe. Uh, I can understand if that would be a little bit of a hit Five onto like remaining. their motivation, but I'm sure that they will just come back up and just, you know, play the best and try to get along the conspiracy down. And they're gonna get back with an Ember Spirit. Okay. So now, uh, well, call me interested. So Ember Spirit, well, Ember Spirit and Storm Spirit, they both are run into a uh, safe lane position from time to time. Storm, I've, I've even seen Storm on the, the off lane. So that's a really mixed result and... Well, I believe many people should already know the, uh, well, the Storm Spirit puppy. 
five seconds remaining. Like the early bottle into a jungling. Although now it's a little bit harder to do because the bottle costs are a little bit higher. But the mud golems are able to be killed now as well. So that makes the jungling a little bit easier in that matter. But Let's see how this goes. Because yeah, they got they got really great ganking potential already. Storm Spirit, Ember Spirit, both very yeah, movable. They move around all the map all the time. Hard to catch up to and just making your life well tough. And a quap isn't really an hero to keep them down. Shadow Demon. Not that much either. The purge is nice, but yeah, it, it, if the remnant is not out, then yes, it works for the DM. If the remnant is already out, yeah, it doesn't really matter that much. And they get a brewmaster. Okay. Well, if I can get over brew split, you get a lot of uh, control there as well. But yeah, without the brew split, he is actually not that strong versus a storm or an ember. You can't, can't really keep him down. It's hard to close the gap, especially if you don't have a blink there. And that will just be tough for them. And yeah. And Moscow 5, they pick up the Bane. Yeah, if they could just fiend script the, the Brew, that would be awesome. Maybe Nightmare him or Nightmare Shed Demon. Fiend script the uh, SD, something you know, or the way around is all oh, fine. Razor. So we'll see how that goes. And they pick up the Razor as well. Okay, well, first Ember, that's actually pretty fine. You keep on linking while he's in the static. Oh, in the I don't mean it. <laughs> Hello me. So okay, that was a brain fart. I mean, of course, uh, the Slate of Fist. You keep on uh, getting it out there. Uh, you also, yeah, Bane. He can just nightmare you and run away. He should be a little bit okay. Storm is not really that good to uh, use it on. So yeah. Five seconds. Really wondering what they really do miss. Like Lone Conspiracy, they miss their their. Yeah, they miss their uh, second support there. Because, let's see how they're going to do. Quop is usually off lane in situations like this. Then, where is your middle and Brewmaster safe lane? Maybe trying to get up like this fast blink there. So, yeah. Let's see how that goes. And then, okay. Then Moscow Fire, I think, of the, uh, the Night Stock. It's just a great hero. But the darkness really hinders the... Uh, vision of m5 and that's something that they do want to play on with the uh, storm spirit wanna you just want to gank all the time so i can get that and yeah their moscow 5 is most likely been deeply looking for a uh, offlaner so the centaur band is understandable just more movement just keeps makes the supports able to just run around all the time and just raise everybody to be a nuisance and they just with a little bit of lack of um control on the side of lc the stampede can do a lot of work for moscow 5 I'm deaf, but they're running out of time, so we'll soon see what. Well, I'm gonna assume it's gonna be their offlaner again. Five so, seconds remaining. what will it be, ladies and gentlemen? We have a Sand King. Okay, this is a great like support a there. And not the conspiracy theory dancer back with a lichen. Okay. They're gonna. I like lichen myself. Like, it's an awesome hero. It's I just love being, you know, red and being annoying and all that kind of things, but... Yeah. It, the synergy is, is not really there, though. Not really a pushing lineup. They have a lot of creep clear. And with Lycan, they can push, but it's not the typical push lineups that you see together with, like, a Visage or... A broad Mother, which you bend out himself, so... Hmm. We'll see. And the Coldo, uh Moscow 5, yeah, I can get their greedy lineup now of uh, SK is gonna probably gonna be on the off on the offline as nine out of ten times how it goes here. And of course we have to the Yeah, the compulsory uh I wanna say Boss here coming out, and let's just go over the the players. Then we have Spartan playing the Shadow Demon. We have Skylark, the new player for London Conspiracy, playing for them some quite some time now. He is going to be playing the uh, the Queen of Pain off lane. We have S2, well two four as well, but I just call him S2. I like that more. And he's going to be playing the Brew Master. We have Madeira playing the uh, Razor, and we have Kaiser playing the Lycan. 
And on the Radiant side, we have Moscow 5, LMGD is going to be playing the Storm Spirit. We have Afterlife playing the SK. We have Bignum playing the Cotto. We have Slender playing the Bane. And we have, last but not least, we have, of course, ZXC playing the Ember Spirit. Also, guys, I want to tell you this. We got a newly updated uh, wall hut. We changed out some things because it was just way too aggressive in your face. And I just hope everything looks great now. I hope you like it. And, uh, oh, yeah, give again. If you guys have any feedback regarding my casting or anything, just tell it in the Twitch chat. Uh, shoot me a message at uh, Twitter at Madness Casting, I guess. Or just yeah, just keep me informed. I, I like to like that. Especially now I'm solo casting a match. I'll be looking at the at the chat fairly often and uh, yeah. Just enough time to make a couple. That's it. And yeah, we have a little bit of moving around here. Aggress aggressive movement from LC going into the enemy jungle here. So. I can, uh, they just, did they get out of the ward? Yeah, they get out of the ward here on the, uh, on the easy camp. Just, uh, yeah, give them some vision, but this is not that big because there's afterlife actually only on the bottom lane. They might actually be going aggressive here. If I, they're seeing Skylock here, Slender is arresting him out a little bit. Just some casual arrestment. We might just have a fight here. Spartan, he uses disruption. LMGD, he has to run away right now. There's gonna be the clap. He slowed down. Razor's seeing a lot of damage. There's the blinking from Skylark. First blood going the way of L, well, Madeira by killing LMGD on the storm and they have to run out right now. And guys, this is indeed the best of one quarter final between Moscow 5 and LC and LC just drew first blood. And they're gonna have Kieser in the middle lane. Okay, is it gonna be a support? Rue or support Dera? Uh, Razor? Like, that's not something I see every day. Interested in how it will work out. The rune trade I lost a little bit because of, that, of the fight. Let's see, LC actually got both of the runes together with a kill. Well, London Conspiracy off to a hot start here. And yeah, this afterlife, he has to look out right now. Yeah, he has to start running away. He doesn't. He hasn't had anything skilled up yet, and that is fine for now. And I just noticed I forgot to change my uh, <laughs> camera settings. Give me one real fast second, guys. I'm really sorry about this. Here we go. Okay, everything is back to the way it should be. I'm sorry about that, guys. It was, otherwise, you might get like an epic <laughs> attack because of this. And oh no, here they go in again. This Razor, just with the static link, with the disruption, this combo is just too strong and doing a lot of damage to Afterlife. He goes in this right now. They don't really have anything to stop it because there is no man on S2 here. And yeah, middle. It's been, in, it's been won so far by Keisha. He's just running with NMGD. And yeah. That's not really working out with static remnants in his face there. Some overload damage. He, he luckily has a stick though. So he's a little bit fine. S2, he's looking for the rune here. The two minute rune will spawn about 10 seconds. Bignum is here as well. He got mana leak. That's actually n usually not the skill that you want at level 1. Although it's fairly good versus the low mana pool on, uh, on Brewmaster. Because you look at this little movement and he's already out of mana again. Oh. gonna be tough and thank you guys i love the hood now as well this is uh, a lot better indeed and there they go in again afterlife just getting some casual harassment there's gonna be the disruption out big num he's caught out and he's taking a lot of damage burst like it's too but i don't think this is gonna be enough there's gonna be the second kill going the way of lc afterlife yeah he has just to run away there he has nothing to look here madeira he leveled up is uh, okay I've got any plasma field. Okay, so even if he goes in fish, you can just easily get this max plasma field off and still do a lot of damage to the invis SK. ZXC, he is actually there's a l not a lot of CS going on here on the top. Is seems like it's just mostly harassment. Hmm. Well, I don't know who's really winning from this. Well, I want to say Skylark at the moment because it's a two versus one, and they're actually just he's doing fine. Like 5-6, five, 5-6, six, five, six, both ways. They're, it's a Bane taking away. Well, he got a little bit less. His, and now they want to go onto Skylark. He does have his Glimpse, so there's going to be the... Uh, well, actually just to be the death of him. He's not able to get it off due to the... Uh, <coughs> due to the uh, chains. So, that's going to be tough. Yeah, he has to look out now. That's the first that's the first kill going the way of Moscow 5. Good kill there. They needed it. The lane was 
Tova being won by LC there. Just because they hit one person there, pretty much keeping two people at bay. So. It's gonna be uh, really tough. NMGD, well. Yes, he uh, he's having an okay time versus Keyser. It's, it's even. It's actually really good, I wanna say. Oh no, Queen of Pain. He retaliated here. He got the Ember kill. Oh! I, I'm so sorry I missed this one. Bane rotated out for the 4 minute rune. And Skylark just took the opportunity to kill him. Hmm? Top rune? Who, is it? Who took it? With some bot changing? But, well. And there they get. They get Afterlife again here on the bottom lane. He's not having a good time at all. This combo between Disruption and Static Link is just... Proving too strong for Moscow 5 here right now. Just having a tough time. Oof. And yeah, I've even you can't really go into the jungle either because there goes already a smoke rotation. Now this one is meant for uh, for the middle. They want to get LMGD. He's water crawling right now. He's a little bit far forward. He's not level 6 yet. He's on the on the verge of it. But is he going to get disrupted? Kisser uses his ultimate. There's going to be the clap and LMGD is going to take a fall here. Kisser picking up the kill. He is looking for more. He saw Scuttle. At least I pinged it out, but he's already running away from here. Well, still good kill coming out for LC, keeping the middle line down and rotation top for Madeira, able to ki kill the Bane there. Will he be able to get ZXC as well? One more hit, he gets it off a double kill. Going the way of Madeira. Or was it? No, shit. Skylark got the other one, but at least he has a killing spree right now. That's good for him. Good job there, LC, man. You're keeping up pressure on all the lanes. And yeah, this is really just a support uh, Brewmaster with a Mango now. So at least he can get up like two claps <laughs> now. Because his mana pool is really not big at all. And that will hurt him as a support. So Demon say, well, they have hole. They're gonna walk in on there. There's gonna be disruption. They're gonna follow this one up with a clap. Hero Strike is there. He should be able to walk this one up and they get another kill on top as well. Or on the top in the middle lane on Big Nub with Queen of Pain Hole helping out there. LMGD, he's found now. He still has a zip though, so he will be able to just zip out, but it will cost all of his mana and he has to run back to base. The wolf will probably arrest him a little bit more on his walk back. He's actually going middle. He doesn't have any mana. This might just be a little bit tough. Do they have a mango for him or something? No, he, he should walk back right now and he will. Yeah, Skylark and uh, Spartan were already here on the lookout. Looking for getting uh, maybe a little bit of retaliation here going. But that's not going to be happening right now. So far, how's the last hitting going? Storm and uh, Madeira, they're about the same. After that, we have Kassira on the Lycan doing pretty well. Then we have Crop, the Crop and uh, the Ember, but yeah, they're both not really, don't really have that impressive amount of uh, of last hits. Actually, for, well, yeah, Madeira and, uh, as, uh, yeah, and Storm are okay, like, the, right now. But yeah, it's, it's not the biggest form fest. We've seen more. But at the moment, LC is really taking the upper end, especially with all these kills going the way. They're going, going on Madeira, but he's fairly tanking. And they have Spartan here on the backline. That's going to be the static link. Big Num using a, a Illuminati, but not doing a lot. Slaughter really low, and he's just going to die here right now. Madeira just getting on a dominating streak already right now. And here on the bot, they get again afterlife on the Sand King. And there's going to be the Brew Muster. Well, Arcana slash Mana Boost, like I want to call it. Like, yeah, I just like to call them. And yeah, this will solve all of his uh, mana problem and just really help him out as a support in this game as well. And Skylark, well... Actually, what is... This is usually not something I do this early, but let's just take a quick look at the network. Holy shit, Madeira. He's having a good time here and oh no, Afterlife, he took some damage, but he's still here, fine. But yeah, let's take a look at Madeira already. He's already up 4.1k and he's closing into his mecha already. This is gonna be an easy 3-10 minutes mecha. Like in... He's building up towards his uh, his Vladimir's and he's gonna use his ultimate here right now. He's gonna go after LMGD, but it doesn't matter because there is a nightmare keeping him in place. He's gonna get the static remnant in his face. LMGD, he's trying to zip out a little bit. But the static remnant, he goes down to low ground. Geyser is switching his attention to slaughter. He gets a brain step into his face. He has to run away right now. Or it might take too much damage. Big Gnome selling Illuminati, but it won't need really too much. Illuminati confirmed there, but it doesn't really matter. But Skylock is here on the backline trying to fight off. Versus LMGD as well as Slardor. 
He gets a scream of the slaughter, slaughter still alive. He used brainstem healing him up quite a bit here already. And this means Skylock has to back off again. However, on the top line, Mardewa gets another kill onto the Ember. He's already on the five killing spree. Holy shit, he's doing well, man. Boom, oh, M5, they're starting to crumble a little bit here. Even the support brewmaster is doing... Just really, he's just doing fine. He got his arcanes by eight, min eight minutes, and if he keeps it up, he should be able to get fairly decent timing on his bling dagger for support room. Even the SD is already 1.4k in, and, and yeah, he already has 1k gold. He can just buy his arcanes if he wants to. Or maybe he goes for tranquil build or something else. We'll see, but he can essentially is... He's pretty... Yeah, he's happy. Warton, he has a good time. Okay, he decides to go for the urn. Good choice to help him out. Regeneration, move more HP, make him more tougher to kill as well as the ability to heal or damage the enemy with some uh, pure damage. And yeah, it's also a good item in the early pushes. So. Especially with the kills that they're getting already. 1, 2, 11. That's just just great already here. Uh, like and he's, he's close. He almost has his, uh, his flats right now. Top tower has already been taken. Bottom tower, that might be the next part that we're looking at for LC. After they find a pickoff. They're looking a little bit aggressively in the jungle. Okay, Madeira got his uh, mechanism as well now. Afterlife. We'll see if we go if they will jump in underneath the uh, tower again. They use a sandstorm right now. They have dust on S2, so yeah, they're gonna wait for the Q wave to push out a little bit more. They don't really want to die. If they're afraid a little bit for the uh, for TP in rotation. That actually doesn't have one though. Slender. He has none actually. Bignum. No. LMG. They actually have no TP rotation. Afterlife here is all alone. If they notice it, he might die. Barton, Afterlife have a little bit of a match up here, fighting it out. There's going to be a disruption. S2 is walking in. Burrow strike out, but it doesn't matter because here is Keyser. There's going to be the dust. And yeah, Afterlife is just going to take a spill here. He uses his uh, stick, but it is really to no avail. And in the meantime, yeah, Skylark, he's going for He's trying to get a ZXC kill here. But yeah, it won't be enough. There will be a nightmare keeping him away and... Just with one person, he's keeping two people at bay here. And at the same time, they can just push in bot here with, uh, <coughs> with the Lycan. And there they go. They find Slender. There's going to be the... Well, a lot of damage still <laughs> going the way again of Madeira. He uses Brain set, but he will still take the fall. Bignum uses his Mana Drain. But yeah. Pop is already far on the backside of Madeira. Just gets an easy kill on him. LMGD, he's trying to go in a long zip into Spartan. But he is gonna get burst. He has to zip away right now. There's gonna be the mecha uses by Madeira. No burst strike used so far. LMGD, he is dead as well. Skylock picking up a double kill. At the same time, they're just pushing in bottom here. This match is just all over the place. And LC doesn't seem to want to be stopping at any time. Is it gonna go for a tier 2 tower? And they need to start moving in already. They have zero form pretty much on the Ember. He's about 2.3k net worth. Like, he's not gonna do anything here. He can just try to get them back, but if they decide, they can actually just jump him. And Sandar is in the back, but he doesn't have his Fiend script yet at 12 minutes in. And Bignum, he's level 4. He's not that big impact either. Yeah, how is Afterlife doing right now? He's. What's this gonna be? A Soul Ring? Yeah, he's not gonna be close towards his uh, Blink Dagger anytime soon. And yeah, LMGD. Well. Uh, can we pause, please? Whoops. He is not stacked either. He got 4k net worth, most of his team, but still with only a soul ring. There's only that much he can do. And Elsie, they know they can contest this uh, rush and they're just gonna go in. Epicenter is not even skilled yet on Afterlife, so even if they try to contest that, it won't be happening. They just missed it. This is uh, oof, tough already, guys. Oh my god. 10k gold lead, yeah. Just over 5k net worth as well. They could have had more, you know, if you split out the map, but they don't care. They just want to farm and they just get a kill on Bane as well. I, I just was completely lost in my train of thought. Like, LC just has this game in their hands and with another kill onto the Bane, it just becomes the harder and harder. He's your man. He got the Aegis right now. He's gonna have his, uh, his rest now. And yeah, I'm just gonna assume this is gonna be uh, a Necro Brook. What? How the hell did they get an Ember kill? Ember killed in his base, so that should be the purge then. I wasn't expecting Ember to die here, to be quite honest. Quite odd. And they call it! GG called after 14 minutes! Ladies and 
Gentlemen, this is such a fast game. This wasn't what I was expecting. Like, the odds were, of course, in the favor of LC. But just by 58 to 42% by ear battle. Not this much. This is just... Whoa, guys. Whoa. This is, uh, well, this was a fast match, guys. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. <laughs> well, guys, <laughs> we're just going to go. Yeah, we're just going to go into the break, into the next match. I might also just uh, go and pick up for the, uh, for the other matches as well here. This is, uh, yeah, well, fast game. GGLC, they're gonna go to the semi-finals! Whoa, whoa.